TTF video tools are getting better and better faster than we actually thought it's going to be possible. In the past couple of weeks, there have been two new model drops that are taking AI video generation to the level that it was possible this year or even next year. So let's take a quick look what's going on. First, we have Pika 1.5 from Pika. So Pika just announced a new model, which they're calling in 1.5. And the coolest part about this model is the thing called Pika effects. So all it does is that if you have an image or you have a prompt and you turn like a prompt into an image or whatnot, you can add all these cool effects to it in just a second. There are six effects you can add and it will turn that image into like a three, four second clip with that effect. There's an effect called inflated, which is just gonna inflate that object in the image. It's just gonna rise up. There's a melt it, so it's just gonna like, you know, have the melting effect. There's an explosion effect. There's a squishy effect, so you have your selfie being squished. There's a crush effect, so you know, we can turn literally anything into that oddly satisfying video of like things being crushed. It's probably not gonna be as satisfying because it's AI, yeah, it's not gonna like, you know, do it all that squishy thing. And there's Cakeify. Remember in COVID where like those videos were getting viral, like you have a dog looking cake and you can just cut it and it's a cake. Now you can do it with literally anything. Okay, so let's see if these effects are only demo, just like, you know, some of the tools that do, or they actually work right now. So we're just gonna go here into Pika, just sign up with a free account. And now we're gonna upload an image. I'm just gonna upload my image or I can pick one of the random ones, just AI generated. So, and then I'm gonna pick an effect. So here I just have an image with, you know, just like a, a coffee mug, a wallet and some keys and I'm gonna use the melted effect. This is what we get. And here I have my own selfie. I'm gonna do like a, like the squishy effect. And this is the effect I'm getting on my photo, which is being turned into like a, you know, like a short three, four second video. In terms of what these videos are useful for, I mean, they will make a really good hux for a short form video for one. Um, two, I mean, you know, if you're a creative person and you wanna like use them in some way, you know, go all nuts. But it's just an example of where things are headed. You know, things look pretty good, pretty clean, pretty real. And I think this is just a teaser where things are going with this tool and what they can do or what we'd be able to do with just our imagination as you're going to be like shaping the video industry in like months, if not years to come. And this is Pika FX by Pika. And next, Meta doesn't want to get left behind. They have this whole ecosystem for all the social media. And I don't think they want to lose this AI race. So now they just dropped a teaser of what their team is working on for all the AI video. I wish I could try this out right now, but it's not released to public yet. So we're just going to see the demos that they have put on their website. So as simple as that, you can turn a text into a video. Uh, so we have a few examples here. A sloth with pink sunglasses lays on a donut float in a pool. Sloth is holding a tropical drink. The world is tropical. The sunlight casts a shadow. The video results look pretty good. We have an example here of like a camera's behind the man. The man is shirtless wearing a green cloth around his waist. Uh, his barefoot with a fiery object in each hand, he creates a white circular motion that comes in the background. The atmosphere is mesmerizing with a fire dance. Uh, again, uh, looks pretty cool. But I mean, you know, there's a whole bunch of tools you can do text to video, what's new here. So another thing, uh, what they mentioned the tool is gonna be able to do is to take an input video and then add a prompt that is gonna change the video into like that based on the prompt. Here, for example, we have an original video of a man running. You can add the input that turn it into a cactus desert and now we have a man running in the desert. Uh, I like this one cut a lot where like a man is just sort of warming up, but now you say like change the background to an outdoor stadium and now it looks like he's an athlete. I mean, he still looks like an athlete, but now it's like, you know, it's a competition or some kind. Now like there's a fire, there's like sparkle effects, the fire sparkle effects to his hands, there's like nodding lights and stuff. You can change like, you know, the dog is wearing like a onesie. There's a poodle with like those blue in color. And this one looks so good. Uh, we have an original video of just a couple eating popcorn and movie. Now there's raining in then one scene and one scene like they are wearing 3D glasses, which kind of looks futuristic. You could be excited about it. You could be scared about it. I think everybody has their own opinions, but these tools, uh, they're getting pretty good. Other examples I've shown here is that, uh, you know, you have a woman here, which is just like, you know, like you upload a photo of your selfie or whatnot, and you have a prompt, like, you know, based on your prompt, it's gonna add your face into the video. For example, here, a woman paints a canvas in a wooden paneled room. The woman is wearing a white shirt. Uh, she has calm expression as she concentrates on her work. A uh, baby bear cub stands at her feet. The lighting is cool. I mean, I hope there's no baby mama bear on the other side, uh, but you know, you get the idea of how real the video looks. And this is the craziest one. Some of the air videos actually has like sound effects and soundtracks along with it.
one of the biggest things that's kind of put out for AI videos is like the voiceover, the sounds seems very unnatural. Even the video are, videos are getting pretty good. But they have shown here some examples where, you know, the sound with the video is also really good. It just seems like a very natural scene. If you're creative, you're a filmmaker, you're a marketer, creating video content is gonna get very interesting as these tools are available and they get better and better. But this is what we have right now. It's, it's a shame we can't try this one just yet. I hope it's more than just the promises. I hope when we get access to this tool, the results are also as real as it seems on their website here. Uh, but yeah, uh, it's funny how Meta, you know, a few years ago, they were all investing in Meta and now like they are just trying to spearhead the whole AI space. These guys are all smart. Yeah, so that's the video today. Um, if you like the video, uh, give a thumbs up, you know, leave a comment. What else you want to see on the channel and we'll see you in the next videos.